My name is um Junior Alvarez. I am 19 years old, and this is my second year at Mass Bay. Throughout this presentation, I'll be discussing about my personality traits. I will talk about what I'd like to improve throughout my personality traits, as well as we'll be talking about the book and some stumbling blocks that occurred while completing the book, and as well as what I learned throughout reading the book. Some personality traits that I find amusing is that I truly believe that I am 70% observant because whenever I attend a class or I am just in a meeting, I tend not to talk. I just like to observe and like take down notes and it just helps me a lot. Also a personality trait that I feel like is important to adjust is my procrastination. I feel like I don't well, I get too carried away in activities and I feel like I don't really finish my assignments when they're supposed to be finished. And it's just something I've been really trying to improve on and I see the improvement, but it's just hard to keep my focus sometimes. When I took the 16 personality test profile, um, I believe that the crystal test was the most accurate due to the personality traits that were given were positive, joyful, even tempered. I felt like those personalities are very pinpointing due to, I always try to keep a positive mindset. I feel like I am mean, very joyful, I'm full of joy and I'm very even tempered because I don't really act off of emotion. I'm really calm and I'm just open to a lot of things. A specific example, I believe, is that at work, I work with children. So I am the coordinator's assistant. And usually before we do an activity, I do an energizer. And throughout like that energizer, I really like try to focus on making them laugh and smile because I honestly do believe that that's like the, like, the best cure when someone's either arguing or when they're sad and stuff and they feel down. I feel like making someone smile and laugh they can take you a long way. So that really ties into me being joyful because all the kids, whenever I'm around, we're all having fun and no one's really down or anything. You know? um, well, something that I decided to improve about myself and why is that I really tried to improve on my mental health because it just started to take a big toll on me after my surgery on my knee. And it's just there's been something that's been bothering me because it's not like the lifestyle that I live now is not the lifestyle I used to live two years ago. So just like trying to stay off my phone, social media, like put my mind on other things and stuff like that has like really been helping me because now I feel like I have more energy and it's just like I'm just in a better state of mind and it's like honestly been helping me so much when it comes to doing my work as well as overthinking. Like I used to overthink a lot and now I really don't think as much that I used to. And like, I really don't stress anymore. Like I just see like life in a different view. So now I'll be talking about the book that I read. I read The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi. The book really talks about how he his whole life just changed and how he left the reservation to get a better education at an all white school shows like how he's really determined about his education. He used to walk a lot um, just to go to school like every day, as well as in the like in the story, like a tragic death happened. And it's just it really took a big toll on him and on his own mental health as well. Like, throughout, like, trying to finish the book, it came, like, I had a little phase in me where I j would just come home and just go straight to bed or I'd just go out and eat, go out with my friends. But I would never look at my laptop. Like, I wouldn't even open it. I'd miss school a couple times. It was just I felt like I felt weak and I just felt like it wasn't, like, it didn't feel right doing what I was supposed to be doing. Also, reading is really not one of my strengths, like, growing up throughout school and stuff like I was on an IEP just due to like reading and like it was just like it's never been a thing that's ever caught my eye you know while reading the book the most important thing like I felt like that I learned was not to judge a man or a woman just because of 
who they are or where they're from or anything like that because like like you see a lot of people like throughout school and stuff and it's just like you don't know what's going on like behind the scenes and stuff like that and it just takes a lot of like courage for the main character to leave his reservation to go to all white school being the only native american in there and trying to provide for his family like throughout his academic career is just like it just shows a lot in who he is like coming from like a family with a deep background i honestly like recommend this book to anybody really but for those who have a really deep background like I feel like this book like shows like the discrimination he like he had like, like against them and the sacrifices he made in life like I felt like I feel like this this book would benefit a lot of people and yeah well that's all for this self presentation hopefully you learned something from me and thank you for everything and for the school year and if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out. Thank you.